hollow cylinder. Okay, so you're going to start asking questions like how do I punch holes in meshes later on. Uh, so I'm going to kind of go through this. This is at the hollow cylinder. Uh, but first, I'm in edit mode and I want to show you a trick. Let's go into vertices. If I want to highlight all the vertices here, I could individually hold shift. I could do it that way. I can hold uh, shift and alt and then go around the outside edge and that'll do it. Or I can use this new tool that I'm going to give you. If you hold control with the right mouse button, it allows you to make lasso. Okay. If I hold control and shift, I can deselect. Again, practice this. Control to select. Control shift to deselect. Okay, now that we know that how that tool works, uh, let's use it in a practical application. First off, let's go to face, highlight a face. Now you can see me either go over here or use my hotkey of control E. I think I'll go over here this time. Right click. R on the keyboard to scale. I'm going to scale this in. Then off click. All right, so in a practical application, what I want to do now is first delete this face. X, face. But now I want to delete all these other faces. Now I don't want to individually pick them. Of course, basic training states that shift alt control will allow me to highlight all the faces going all the way around. Okay, so that's one way to do that. X faces. And if I wanted to delete the single one, sure, I could use just highlight it or I can go like that. Control, right click, X faces. So you can see there's a lot of stuff to this. There's no doubt about it. Your notes are probably just filled by now. Hopefully, if you are a good student, you've taken a lot of notes. All right. So here's another practical application of this. Again, control, highlight all these. And this time, I'm going to extrude, but I'm going to extrude region. W on the keyboard will allow me to move this down. Okay, so I get this. Now, if I just added a modifier to this, it would look pretty bad. In fact, let me do that real quick. Let's let's go to add a modifier, multi-resolution, and let's hit subdivide. You can see it, it collapses in on itself. Sure, I might want to create this shape if I wanted to make a bracelet for a game character, but I don't like it, so I'm going to get rid of it. That's where you're going to start getting into, well, I need something to brace the object. So go back to edit mode and let's look at this. Of course, I can go over here, loop cut slide. And look at that. I loop cut it on the inside of that. Now, again, control R does the same thing. There we go. So by putting these braces here, when I go into tab and then add the modifier of multi-resolution and then hit divide, you can see now it is an actual hollow cylinder because it had those braced edge loops going around. Then if I want to apply it, I could. And then again, I could also uh, destroy some of the edge loops if I needed to, to get it back down to a lower res. I'm not going to choose to do that. Instead, I'm going to do one more shape for you. Okay. We're going to go into mesh cube. 
Okay, this shape I don't use very often, but every once in a while it might be a good thing to make. Uh, and that is a cone. Okay, again, I think there is a cone in here. Yes, there is a cone. And again, uh, if I hit tab, you'll see why I want to make this shape into a legit shape because it does have a pretty bad extraordinary vertice right there. So how do I do that? Well, let's see. With my new selection trick, I can hit tab, go into vertices, highlight all these vertices and scale them in. Just like that. At the bottom here, let's go to face and extrude that in. I'll extrude it as an individual. Scale that in just a little bit. Again, if I added a modifier right now, it would look kind of ugly. So before I do that, let's loop cut slide it. I'm going to undo that because it there we go. And here's a, here's an example of what I was talking about earlier. So if I loop cut slide this and put it into place and then try to move it, see what happens? It's destructive. Okay. One right here. Technically, I don't need this one. X on the keyboard, loop cut. And now what I could do is when I add a modifier to it, there we go. We have our cone with good geometry. All right, now that we have two basic shapes out of the way and a new tool, the lasso tool, let's go on to the next video.